Hello dear crypto friends and welcome to today's video in which as always we are going to take a look at Bitcoin at the crypto market and trying to understand if this has been the Bitcoin low and what could happen in the next days, weeks and maybe even months. Let us take a look. Let us start as always with a Bitcoin weekly chart. That is always a nice starting point. Long term logarithmic trend channel that we have here. And we can see that Bitcoin has almost hit the target that I was saying is the most likely one, namely that we would hit the weekly moving average of 290 weeks, which was at 17,100 and something. And we went to 17,600. So I was saying that Bitcoin was likely to go to between 13,000 as an absolute incredible super worst case low and 20,000 and it went to 17,600 almost hitting this long term moving average. Now, why is this moving average so important? Because this was the average that was hit in the March 2020 low. OK, it was the moving average 290 and not the moving average 300 as some people like to say, look, because if I type in average 300, we see that in March 2020, it was not hit. It was a bit above the moving average of 300 weeks if we look at it, right? So what I'm doing, even though 290 sounds a lot uglier than 300, I will remain more precise and therefore I will take the average 290 because that is the average that has been truly hit as we can see here in the March 2020 low. OK, and also here, because if we prolong that line here, we are getting almost a perfect hit in the low of August 2015. And if I would take the moving average 300, we would be quite a bit further away. OK, so that is why I take the moving average 290, even though it sounds uglier than 300. And I don't care so much if they sound nice. I just want them to work. Now, zooming in into the current picture, what can we see? I don't know if I'm satisfied with this weekly candle close. The weekly candle closed at night. And let me just deactivate this here for better visualization. We see we're getting a small rebound, but this is not a beautiful candle close. A beautiful candle close, friends, would have been around the moving average 200. That would have been a nice weekly candle close. As I said, if we would close here in, in this area, that would be a very, very strong sign. This happened, for example, in March 2020. Yes, we closed shortly below the moving average 200, but not very far below it. So it was quite near here. We closed exactly on the moving average 200 in 2018. And then we can see that in August 2015, we closed a few times shortly, very shortly below the MA 200. So really not far away from the moving average 200. And this is the first weekly candle close in Bitcoin's history where we have closed really quite far below the moving average 200. That is like almost yeah, thousand five hundred dollars lower below the moving average 200. That is quite far away. For me, this is not a beautiful thing to see. I'm sorry to say this, friends. I wish I could say something different. So now, of course, the question is, has this been the low? Well, the volume looks OK. It looks good. It could be a bottom, right? If I if we just look at the volume, the volume bar is really high. It is almost as high as in 2018 or in 2019. It is it can compare with these tops that we had before in volume. This, it can compare with these volume spikes. OK, so this is already not bad, but I don't like the candle close because the candle close is quite far below the middle. Now, if, if a candle closes quite far below the middle, uh, it's not a beautiful sign. I mean, this one, sure, in March 2020 also closed below the middle, but at least it closed uh, near the MA 200. And here, this one in August 2015 closed quite far above the middle of the candle. So this look a lot better than the current one we have this one. The, the one that the one that we have right now could be akin to this one in January 15. But even that one closed in the middle. So um, 
This is not a beautiful candle close. I'm sorry to say this. This is not a beautiful candle close and is more akin to the candle close, not quite as ugly, but it reminds me more of the candle close in November 2018 when we had this structure here, which then meant that we were going down lower. So if I overlay this, if I say, aha, uh -huh, the candle close is not wonderful and we have a situation maybe similar to 2018 here, then this could mean that we could get such a scenario where we actually bounce a bit now, but then still go lower and actually revisit again the moving average 290 as happened in 2018 when it revisited the moving average 200 and bounced off it two times. So we could repeat the same situation, but this time not with the moving average 200, but with the moving average 290 or 300 if you like that round number better. I don't really like the situation a lot. I have to say, let us take a look at the dollar index. The dollar index has started dumping a bit. That is of course not bad. And we have a super strong bearish divergence. As we can see here, the peaks here are higher. The second peak is higher than the first one, but the peak in the RSI is a lot lower which is a quite strong bearish divergence. So if we are lucky, this means that the dollar index is starting to roll over, which is of course very favorable for the development of Bitcoin's price. So we really should hope that the dollar index will roll over. But of course, this will depend a lot on inflation numbers and on the development of the government bond yields. The government bond yields also luckily show a quite strong bearish divergence right we are getting higher prices here but the rsi is actually if we zoom in here is making lower highs right and the rsi here didn't even manage to come near to where it was before so this is not a bad sign if we are lucky the two-year government yields will start rolling over they will start going down again this of course would drag the dollar index down and so if we are lucky friends, this could mean that soon dollar starts dumping and the stock market would of course then recover if we go to the NASDAQ. Why always the NASDAQ and not the S&P 500? Well, because the NASDAQ is trading the tech stocks and Bitcoin is handled like a tech stock. It's sad, but that is how Bitcoin is behaving currently. It is behaving a lot like a tech stock. So that is why I always look at the NASDAQ. What can we see in the NASDAQ? Well, in the Nasdaq, friends, we have this hidden bullish divergence. We have lower lows in the price here and we have higher lows in the RSI. So if we are lucky, we at least get a bounce. OK, if we say sure, the likelihood under the given economic world circumstances is not amazing, then at least it might be a good opportunity to get a bounce here and then we might go lower. But of course, this will have to be seen and we have to monitor this, of course, on a day by day basis and see how this bounce develops. If it is really a bounce, then Bitcoin, of course, will also do a bounce and revisit the lows again. But if the Nasdaq unexpectedly goes into a rally and makes new highs, that, of course, means that Bitcoin will also make new highs. So this will depend, unfortunately, a lot on macroeconomic developments what Bitcoin is going to do. If we go again to the Bitcoin chart, we can see that this recovery is not looking amazing. This is not a typical bounce that we would see off such a low. In March 2020, as you can see, we had a much more aggressive bounce. This was looking much more decisive, how we went to the upside. Let me just overlay it. this for a second, right? This was some kind of situation like this one. We had a much more aggressive bounce, but we can see that this is currently not happening. Also in the daily, we don't have a bullish divergence. We have lower lows here in the price and we have also lower lows in the RSI. So that is not a hidden bullish divergence, which of course is not super bullish. So what I think is happening for me, the situation has now increased a lot that we get a situation similar to this one here that Bitcoin will be wobbling around here at this lower part of the logarithmic trend channel here on this lower green support line that has been respected time and time again since 12 years now that we will stay around this area for a while and then at some point at some point 
later this year maybe or at the latest early next year we will start making advances again especially because the bitcoin having in 2024 is not so extremely far away anymore so this is for me currently the likeliest scenario but of course if suddenly a miracle happens and the stock market starts rallying then of course we still could get a situation like this one where we recovered from the march 2020 low and we go directly into a rally but for me this has now become because of this whole situation how low we dumped and the weak response uh, especially the weak response with a not so strong bounce right now for me the situation that we are actually having a one two three four five wave elliott wave structure and that this here was just an expanded flat correction for me the probability that this is happening has decreased significantly i have to unfortunately say so for me the probability has increased that we will stay here at this area and then only in 2023 maybe late 2022 early 2023 will we start going upwards again i'm, I'm really sorry to say this i don't like it but of course miracles can still happen right if we get some nice white swan events on the stock market if for whatever reason now uh, amazing news from all around the world ukraine war over china lockdowns over suddenly wow everything is going nicely again no supply constraint issues anymore then we could go directly into a rally but friends the way this is looking now and especially this not so beautiful weekly candle close at such a low level way below the moving average 200 i this doesn't make me really optimistic that we will get a fast recovery i just see a longer wobbling around here in that area maybe a few bounces in between but remember the logarithmic channel is really low so even as late as march 2023 we could still go to 23,000. and if we take the top that we had at 69,000, we should not forget that even as late as april 2025 we could still be as low as 69,000. so it's taking a while and i think we will have to be more patient than we would like but at least that gives us time to accumulate a bit more and then when the next recovery will come and the next recovery will come friends it's just a matter of time the stock market will recover no bear market lasts forever then we can reap the rewards of this nice time where we hopefully did accumulate a lot of cheap coins right so that is my current picture i will make daily updates on the bitcoin and crypto market so that hopefully we can understand what is going to happen how bitcoin will recover when will the next rally come how high will the next bitcoin peak be and so on and so forth of course i will also take a look at all the altcoins and we are going to make a lot of analyses if you found this video interesting please like and subscribe i would be happy to welcome you on this channel and then i would say have a nice day friends and see you in the next update video tomorrow bye